Oh. Yeah, yes. Snipping. All right. Far away. Okay, here we go. First question. How do you feel about your kids developing a Warrington twang to their accents? Yeah. Um, yeah, my oldest girl, Arabella, she's three and a half, so she goes to nursery a couple of days a week, so she's already picking picking the accent up, which is, I think, is quite cute at the moment. Yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> is that the fire? Um, Bingo. Yeah. <laughs> Get going. Just, be professional about this, mate. Be professional. Bit of background noise yeah. there. Okay, excellent. Fro frogs. <laughs> uh, so at the moment, yeah, I think it's I think it's quite cute. Yeah, cool. Um, it won't last forever, I know that much, but no. um, your kids, the mate, obviously they have picked it up. Yeah, mate, mine, yeah, mine are full blown, so it's it's actually yeah, it's cute at the first, and now it's starting <laughs> to get get a bit annoying. Best entertainer in the team. Best entertainer in the team. Well, we got a bit of entertainment then uh, from <laughs> Ryan Bailey. Uh, best entertainer, probably. Uh, dog Brad Dwyer, he's, he's quite funny. I still can't understand half the words he <laughs> says, but when he laughs, I laugh. So yep. he's uh, yeah, he's good. I'm with you. What do you reckon? Um, Reese Reese Evans is quite, yeah. quite funny. I don't he think is. He's, like, most of the time he's not trying to be. funny. He's not trying to be funny. But yeah, Probably, he's, uh, maybe he's, just his hair. His yeah. looks, looks is quite, quite funny. Yeah, he looks like an extra off um, <laughs> bloody Lord of the Rings, doesn't he? <laughs> what do you miss most about Australia? Uh, probably. Oh, that, was, that was meant to be your question. Oh yeah, I'll go too. Okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Um, what I'm missing most about Australia, probably just the surf. Uh, you know, uh, getting to ride on a motorbike. I suppose that's, that was that was something fun or something relaxing. But um, you know, I, I know it's not forever over here, so I'm really I'm not really missing home too much. Yeah. Have you adopted any English traditions since you've been here? Um. Besides drinking the the town dry on a Saturday yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, I've been. Um, that's probably been been one of the things I've been trying to get to as many, um, you know, little little pubs or even the um, national trust sites like Tatton Park is yep. another good one. But I, I like the I really like the, the old history towns um, like Nutsford, um, Chester yep. is another good one we've been to. So I, I really enjoy the history um, of the UK. Yeah, and, um, definitely. Be certainly trying to get out and see seeing a bit more of it too. What are your thoughts on the Wires Barmy Army of fans? Oh, they're, they're some of the best I've ever heard and seen, really. Um, I've, you know, I've played for some passionate fans in Newcastle for my whole career, but um, I don't think any, anything compares to um, certainly Warrington, Warrington's fans and the Wire fans. They're, you know, they're vocal, they're passionate. Um, the songs that they come up with, um, so yeah, there is probably some of the best, best people. Some good ones best, in there, best, best people and best supporters of. I've had. Yep. Uh, who are the toughest guys you have played against? Played against over here? Or Let's go one from Australia, one from yeah, here. Yeah, one from Australia, one from here. Um, one from Australia, I'd have to say, probably probably Big Petro, Super Deceiver, I think, um, you know, I think we've talked about it before, you know, first carry and last carry are exactly the same. And you just yeah. don't know how we did it for, you know, for 16, 17 years in the, in the top you know, in the top competitions. Uh, and a legend, legend bloke too, isn't he? Oh yeah, yeah, one of the good, best, good one of the best, most humble blokes you'll ever meet. Um, you know, he's, hasn't got a, hasn't got a, um, you know, a bad word to say about anyone. He's always half, um, glass half full kind of guy. And, um, you know, he, he, he's a great, he's a great guy to play with as well. So, yep. uh, yeah, but, and over here, one of the toughest, I'd say, geez, there's, there's been a few, um, but I think, um, you know, someone like a James Roby, who yeah. you know he, he ain't the, he's, he's not the biggest bloke, but you know to, to get through 50, 60 tackles a week, um, and that's not just you know once or twice a year. You know yeah, that's, that's pretty much every right? week. Consistency. Yep. That's a that's a big trait of his, and um, you can see why he's you know he's been regarded as one of the be best hookers in the world for for the past you know you for know sure. 10 years. Yeah, for sure. Uh, <laughs> Ashton loves Metallica. Kurt. What is your music likes and dislikes? We'll pick that out the right way. Yeah, right. I know. That's good. Uh, music likes and dislikes. Oh, I, I, I like all music from rock and roll, um, UK ones, yeah. Arctic, big, Arctic big Oasis. Big Oasis, Oasis, Oasis fan too, I yeah, yeah, was a massive yeah. Oasis fan. Got all that. their albums. So I yeah. was disappointed when they broke up, but I, I got to see them once in New York. Um, Arctic Monkeys, another big fan of them. Yeah. Um, UK guys. Bit of indie. Oh, bit, no, of indie bit of rock. indie rock. Um, I love being Australian rock. Oh, mate, I went to Adele the other week. She was fantastic. So my my oh, my music yep. music range is you, pretty pretty broad. Pretty wide. Yeah, yep. just Excellent. depends depends on my emotions at the time. 
Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe I'll, I'm looking for a lot rock and roll. After a loss? Yeah, yeah, yeah after a yeah. loss. Uh, yeah, a bit, bit of a of, tell. Bit uh, of country and western. Sam, Sam Smith and then just <laughs> cry, cry myself into, <laughs> in, 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 to sleep, to yeah. sleep. What would you do without rugby? Probably be a 31-year-old bum, to be really honest. Um, no, I wanted, I've always, I always wanted to be a fireman, so I, yeah, I, yeah, right. I always wanted to be a firefighter, and that's the path I probably I reckon you, is... you would make the um, fireman uh, uh, calendar. <laughs> the calendar. The calendar. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be that um, wall of Mr. the biggest Ju loser. Mr. July. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> no, well, this is an easy one. Blue or maroon? Oh, blue. Yeah. Sky blue. Sky blue. Sky oh, blue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Easier that one. I'll go, yeah. yeah. You go again. Yeah, I'll go you again. All right, favourite away game so far? Oh, the first one that just pops in my head, I can't even think of too many at the moment, but the Wigan one was a, was a cracker. Mm. I just remember that all the Wire fans behind the, behind the, the post, post and, a, and yeah. a really good turnout. Yeah. Um, and obviously a, a really tough and good win, that one. And it was only recent, so um, yeah. got, the, uh, got Wigan again this week at home, which will be even better. Yep, yeah, you bet. What do you think about the English boys who are ripping into the uh, NRL? Who are ripping in at the NRL? Yeah, I think that, I think there's a few of them going really well. Um, you know, obviously there's the Burgess boys in there. But, um, you know, you got guys like um, uh, James Graham and, and Gareth Whitt, who I think are, are really doing well. And from what I hear, um, Hodgson from down Canberra is he's, yeah. he's, he's having a really red hot dig too. So I think they'll they'll maybe more. Yeah, probably, I think yeah, probably I making, think so. making the move over. Yeah, um, yeah. We've probably got a couple in our team that could probably make it in the NRL. But um, hopefully they we don't want, for the, yeah, 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 we'll we, just, we don't want to talk we'll about keep, it. We'll, we'll keep them we'll here. Keep yeah. Pin them down. Well, um, I'll yeah, go this I'll, one, you go last one. Yeah, righto. Would you rather play at Wembley in Challenge Cup final or Old Trafford in the Grand Final? Uh, see, that's a tough one because I always I always thought, you know, the, the competi like winning the competition would be the biggest thing. Yeah, um, you know, yeah. being at Old Trafford and winning that would be the biggest, but talking to everyone over here and seeing how big the Challenge Cup really is, I knew it was a, quite a big deal, but now being, since being over here is, I just realised how big you know the, the Challenge Cup is. I always yeah. saw it as a, the second type of competition, but I suppose it's like, it's like in football they have the FA Cup too, don't they? And the FA yeah. Cup holds a yeah. lot of volume, yeah. but um, yeah, it's a tough one. It'd be, be yeah. nice to do what Leeds did last year and, and do yeah. them both. That'd yes, be all right. Is, yeah. is that too much to ask? Yeah, I, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, last one. Last but not least. <laughs> Here we go. Biggest moaner in the team. Ah. Oh. I don't know, there's probably, I don't know, I think Gaz Wheeler's well, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a good team um, Brad, either. Brad Devay, he's good too. Yeah. Um, there's a couple of good ones, but normally I'm, I'm having a laugh. At, um, I don't know whether it's their accent, what they're moaning at, or um, the topic, the topic. Yeah. It can depend on all of the above. Yeah. Um, there's a, couple, there's a couple there. It can be moaning from rugby to what we're having for lunch to <laughs> what, we're, yeah, what we're doing in training. It's, yeah. uh, we're all guilty of it at times we anyway. Are. All right. Excellent. Beautiful bash. Cheers, Thanks, mate. Good on you, mate. Thanks for having us.